80% of all COVID outbreaks reported in the past two months are happening in K through 12 schools. And now a Metro Atlanta school district is announcing a vaccine requirement for employees. CBS 46's Megan Packer joins us live at the city schools of Decatur's offices. And Megan, you're hearing all of the reaction to this. Sean, I am including from some teacher organizations tonight. This is the first school district in the state to make this decision. And Governor Brian Kemp says it violates one of his executive orders. City of Decatur Schools is making history among districts in Georgia. It's implementing a COVID vaccine requirement for employees. They have until the end of October to get the shot or file an exemption. I think we will be seeing more districts who are requiring um, vaccination for employees or in lieu of vaccination, very specific testing requirements. Lisa Morgan is the president of the Georgia Association of Educators. She says her organization encourages the community to follow public health experts when it comes to making decisions about keeping students safe in the classroom. This first month of school has shown us that we have to implement the recommended strategies to reduce the spread of COVID-19 in our schools. Governor Brian Kemp released a statement that reads, this clearly violates my executive order banning vaccine mandates by public entities. Other Metro Atlanta school districts say they do not plan to issue a vaccine mandate at this time. They encourage eligible people to get the shot. And in Gwinnett County, for example, that district is offering a $500 incentive to employees who get vaccinated. The Professional Association of Georgia Educators say they encourage vaccination for school employees on a voluntary basis. A statement from Executive Director Craig Harper reads, districts that issue mandates should do so only after securing broad employee support and including appropriate accommodations and alternatives through testing. Vaccine mandates will further hamper school operations in many districts if employees are required to be vaccinated or lose their jobs. Teachers are stressed does not even describe how teachers are feeling right now. Um, we are seeing this fall what we were all afraid would happen last fall with returning face to face. And here in the city of Decatur, if an exemption to the vaccine is approved for a staff member who requests it, they will have to get a daily COVID test provided by the district. No decision just yet here about if this could eventually become mandatory for students in the city of Decatur. Reporting live tonight, I'm Megan Packer, CBS 46 News. Megan, thank you. We are